Shiba Inu or Dogecoin? Which one is better? Which one is a better investment? Or are they both really good investments to get into right now? We're going to be talking about this and not just talking or on opinion. We're going to be using some actual data, some information. And also tomorrow is going to be the inflation reading. This is going to be huge for the stock market and cryptocurrencies. If the inflation reading comes out a particular way, it could send cryptocurrencies down or it could send cryptocurrencies up. We're going to be talking about certain possibilities tomorrow, whether you should be concerned. So make sure you watch this entire video. You cannot miss what I have in store for you today. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it is Miles here. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss these absolutely time sensitive alerts and smash up the like button and blow up the questions with your questions, comments, or concerns, things that you like, things that you don't like, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna get access to my trade alerts, when to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, join my Patreon for only $10 a month where I have a bunch of services to help you make a lot of money in cryptocurrency. One of the best services I provide is a tier in the Patreon where you can talk to me on the phone so we can do a consultation to look at your portfolio to see what things we need to move around because right now we need to be making big changes in our portfolio for cryptocurrencies because of the next couple of months what is going to be happening to cryptos so if you want to get the best opportunity join the patreon now today make sure you also follow my instagram and twitter where i do put some very important information there for free as well all right let us dive straight into this content so the first thing we need to talk about and get out of the way is there is the consumer price index and this is released once a month and it covers the previous month so tomorrow tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m is when the cpi data will be released this information is going to show us the inflation rate it's going to show us the overall inflation rate with prices and with things how they are in the united states the U.S. and the entire world is in a global economic crisis because of inflation, because of there were shutdowns and many things. So governments had to print money to support being shut down. This raises inflation, which causes the dollar, the dollar, the U.S. dollar or the dollar of that particular country to go down and down and down. This is called depreciation and also inflation. Not only does the dollar depreciate, but the prices of things begin to rise. So there's double inflation. So your dollar becomes worthless and worthless every single day. So people are starting to realize this and that's why they are jumping into cryptocurrencies. That's why we are seeing Bitcoin right now kind of outperforming the whole entire market. That is why cryptocurrencies are going up and that's why they continue to go up and that's why they will continue to go up in time. We hear a lot of crazy price predictions for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Some people like in my video this morning, I talked about and showed that Bitcoin, not, not something that I said, but this guy named Raul Paul, who used to work in finance. This guy used to work at a major financial institution. And what he sees is that Bitcoin is going to potentially hit $200,000 by December and Ethereum $15,000 by December as well. He sees this because people are fleeing the stock market. People are fleeing traditional ways of investing, like investing in gold and silver. They're leaving gold, they're leaving silver behind to jump into cryptocurrencies, specifically Bitcoin and Ethereum. And eventually, some once they start getting invested into Bitcoin and Ethereum, the money starts to flow into the altcoins like Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Cardano, and more. But the very interesting thing is one year ago exactly, the same stuff was happening. There was stuff going on in the economy, there was stuff going on in the government, and people were getting fearful and they were leaving the stock market and they were jumping in cryptocurrencies. And what happened is that cryptos, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum, were decoupled from the stock market, which means that they no longer followed the stock market because what we have noticed is the last couple of months when the stocks go up, cryptos go up. When there's bad news with stocks, cryptos would go down. But what we are seeing is that there's all this bad news for the stock market. The stock market's continuing to go down, but Bitcoin is going up. This is a very good sign. And tomorrow, based on how Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies move, based on the report, whether it's good or bad, but especially if it is bad and it affects the stock market, but cryptos go up, that is going to be our signal that cryptos are about to get crazy, that everyone is about to jump in because it will only confirm the sentiment that cryptocurrencies are the hedge against inflation. And now these whales and institutions are just gonna be jumping in like never before. And that is how Bitcoin, that is how these cryptocurrencies could potentially 5X in just 90 days or less. So this is something to get excited about, something to be aware about. When investing into cryptocurrencies, we have to understand market cycles. We have to understand the economy. We have to understand the overall stimuli. We have to understand the whole market, what is going on around the entire world, not just in that particular cryptocurrency, 
because if we can understand what's happening in the influences that surround cryptocurrencies that can affect them, we can know when is the best time to buy and when is the best time to sell. And if you can have that information, which is the information that I've provided you for free on this channel and also privately in my Patreon, you can be ahead of the game and you can always be on top. Now let's talk about which crypto is better. Dogecoin or Shiba Inu. But before we do so, let me tell you about iTrust Capital. Now, iTrust Capital is a way that you can trade cryptocurrencies in a very secure platform tax free. A lot of us, we make lots of money in cryptocurrency and we need to be shielded from taxes, especially as they're trying to really crack down on cryptocurrency and taxes even more. I trust capital is a cryptocurrency retirement account where you can invest and trade cryptocurrencies. They use Coinbase to clear all of their transactions. So you're basically using Coinbase on this I trust capital. It's good because you can trade literally for years on end without getting taxed. And then when you want to pull out the money, which I wouldn't recommend until you pull out to retirement. But if you wanted to say, pull your money out early, you could do so with a small penalty, especially compared to the amount of taxes that you would have to pay if you would have never been shielded in a crypto trading account. If you wanna get access to this, join using my link below. They give you the first month off for free. Right now, Shiba Inu is one of the most searched words on the entire internet. Dogecoin was doing the same thing several months back, and we are seeing now Shiba Inu continue to pump and to pump and to pump, and we are seeing right now that Shiba Inu had corrected, but also after that correction, we are starting to form this uptrend, which means that we are headed up. And this is very good news for Shiba Inu holders. But if we take a look at Dogecoin, we take a look at uh, H bar, a lot of these altcoins pretty much are doing the same thing. They're bleeding out. They're kind of heading down to a particular range, which I believe they will bottom out. But at the same time, Bitcoin and Shiba Inu are pretty much the only cryptocurrencies that are continuing to move in a very consistent upwards momentum. So Shiba Inu is riding off a little bit of Bitcoin, but Shiba Inu is almost decoupled from Bitcoin because a lot of hype, a lot of people are very excited about Shiba Inu. They are pumping it up. And we know that when people get together to pump things up like they did for GameStop, like they did for AMC, like they did for Dogecoin particularly, they can bring the prices of cryptocurrencies up even when things are terrible. They can bring the prices up of a particular crypto like we are talking about Shiba Inu for instance, thousands of percents, which means they will ADX, 50X, do some crazy things. So when people band together, especially these retail investors and these whales are starting to even get involved in Shiba Inu, that means that there is no limit to how far these cryptos can go. Does that mean they're gonna pump up forever? No, what we can see and it has been historically accurate is that sometimes these hype trains, these hype coins or these hype momentums they only last a couple of months, then they end up kind of bottoming out and consolidating before the hype and momentum builds up again. So the momentum right now has died down for a lot of altcoins, Dogecoin included. But does this mean that Dogecoin is dead, that Dogecoin is over with? No, far from it. Dogecoin has a lot going on behind the scenes. Elon Musk, Vitalik Buterin, who is the creator and founder of Ethereum, a lot of very important people are working behind the scenes to get Dogecoin to be one of the best cryptocurrencies for transactional use. I personally think that Dogecoin will have its day and will have many more pumps to come, not just one more big pump and it's over with. No, I believe Dogecoin is here to stay and here to last because the project is much stronger than just the hype and there will be hype again for Dogecoin. The hype is not there for Dogecoin, but the hype will be there to drive it back up. So does this mean to sell all of your Dogecoin is not gonna do anything right now? No, because at any second Dogecoin can pop and the hype can come back at any second. So we don't wanna be caught with our pants down with Dogecoin. So I definitely am still holding Dogecoin. It is still a portion of my portfolio, but there's other cryptocurrencies. When they come up, you need to be able to focus on them and not just hold the bag of one cryptocurrency and miss out of many opportunities. The, opp the best opportunities in cryptocurrency right now are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Shiba Inu. Bitcoin especially is gonna be receiving the greater market share of all the money. Ethereum is second to Bitcoin, and even when the altcoins aren't pumping, Ethereum can definitely gain some momentum, especially because it's now deflationary, so that the overall coins continue to get lower and lower and lower based on this previous update that's destroying Ethereum coins to reduce the supply. The same thing that they are doing with Shiba Inu now. Shiba Inu was just a meme coin. It, did, it had hype, it had a strong community, but it never really had a strong utility case. The utility case is what the developers are working on right now to cause it to burn. So looking at Shiba Inu, what they are doing is they're expanding their ecosystem. They're doing a whole bunch of things. 
But right now, while Dogecoin is trading at a very low level with low volume and that there's not a lot of hype surrounding it, this is providing us a buying opportunity for Dogecoin. When these cryptocurrencies, and remember, none of this is financial advice, it's just my own opinion through many years of investment and trading experience. When cryptocurrencies consolidate, when people kind of forget about them and they bottom out and they go down, when they have a strong community, when they have a strong use case, those are the times to buy those cryptocurrencies because Dogecoin has been extremely undervalued the last couple of months. And I personally believe that Dogecoin is setting up for some massive moves here very soon. I'm thinking that around December is most likely when the hype is going to start building back for some of these altcoins, specifically Dogecoin. And the hype could even be there again while it's lasting these next couple of months for Shiba Inu to push Shiba Inu up even further. So these are things to consider. One is definitely not better than the other. In my opinion, I'm not, I'm not trying to divide people and put people against each other. They're investments, they're opportunities. We should not be hating each other. We should not be disliking each other because one person holds that crypto. You should have a whole bunch of cryptos in your portfolio, not just one cryptocurrency. If you only hold one cryptocurrency, yeah, you might actually make it out on top depending on how well that cryptocurrency performs. But if you don't take profits, you will end up being on the bottom. You will end up missing out on other opportunities. And if you also don't diversify your portfolio and you have for say only Doge or you have only uh, Ethereum, while other cryptocurrencies are going up and that cryptocurrency is in a potential bear market for a month or a couple of months, you're missing out on potentially hundreds percents of gains. So I think Shiba Inu, because there is so much hype surrounding it, is continuing to break higher highs, it's continuing in this strong uptrend, and that there is such a strong community now. I think Shiba Inu is a great cryptocurrency to get involved to for at least a time, but you have to take profits. I would not be holding this coin forever. When things are pumped up by hype, they eventually re reach a sharp peak and they reach a sharp bottom. There's 50 to 80% corrections with these hype points. So even in stocks, game, AMC, a a AMC, GameStop, you have to take profits at a particular level and be happy and confident with those profits, not trying to chase it if it starts to go back up. You have to be happy take profits and set a goal for yourself when it comes to investing. But we need to take a look at technical analysis. Let's see where Shiba Inu, let's see where these cryptos are actually headed. So let's go ahead and dive back into technical analysis. The first thing we need to take a look at is Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, earlier this afternoon, there was a small liquidation that pushed the price down very fast. So what the bears are trying to do is they are trying to bring volatility, they're trying to bring they're trying to bring Bitcoin down, but they were not able to. The bulls are keeping Bitcoin at this very high level. We are nearly $57,000 again, and we bounced up from $53,000. That happened in pretty much two minutes. I was I missed that dip, wasn't able to catch it. We saw that all over the board with cryptocurrencies as well today. We are having Ethereum begin to start bouncing up, and this is looking good. We are end up forming higher lows, and this is very good. Look at this low here, low here, low here, but we have this straight level of resistance, which is pushing us into this ascending triangle pattern. I'm not trying to make it look pretty, but just to keep it short and simple, Ethereum is setting up for some very big moves. Dogecoin actually ended up bouncing quite strongly today in this pattern, but Dogecoin is just consolidating around this small little range, 23 cents, 24 cents, 25 cents. And ever since we hit 26 cents the other day, it appears that we are kind of just in this little consolidation range, not doing much. But the very important thing is, is that we are still in an uptrend for Dogecoin. The chart is actually bullish because look at this. This is the low here. It's very hard to tell. I know that. But this is the low and this is the next low and this is the high. So we are still in an uptrend and we are now making it potentially a big move here very soon to break this 26 cent level of resistance, propelling us into the 30 cent range. Now, what you guys really want to see is, is Shiba Inu looking good? Yes, Shiba Inu is looking very, very good because we are seeing not only Shiba Inu trending, becoming one of the most searched words on the internet, uh, YouTube, Twitter, but what we are seeing is a very consistent uptrend from this bottom. This was the bottom the other day, and we are seeing a very consistent uptrend because we are seeing the bottom here, top here, bottom here, top here, bottom here, and the bulls are in control of this psychological momentum, which is being pushed up. So Shiba Inu is setting up for another massive breakout. And depending on what happens tomorrow with the inflation reading, depending if Bitcoin can continue to break past these levels of resistance, which this week we could potentially see $60,000 for Bitcoin, 
Shiba Inu will most likely have a very big pump. And we could also see pumps for Dogecoin and Ethereum as well. So I definitely will be keeping an eye on those and alerting you guys to know what to do. So I definitely will be keeping you all updated in the Patreon, so make sure you join that. And if you want a great platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies like Shiba Inu, Cardano, Dogecoin, etc., join using my Weeble link. If you sign up and deposit $100 using my link, they'll send you two free stocks worth up to $4,000, which you can immediately sell. So if you got something out of the video, make sure you smash up the like button below up the comment section and i will see you all tomorrow have a great night